I love knitting, I love crocheting, painting, glass art. If it's got the word art after it, well, I can back it in on. I'm having a go. Uh, I use a lot of art with my children so that we had sort of bonding time. That's pretty important to me with the kids. And as I went through different careers, I used different parts of art. I was a nail technician for several years and loved doing nail art on them. I became ill several years ago and through the support and networking of friends, they, they all suggested that I get back into art and painting was just where it started. I started at um, Mollamen Gallery with a couple of girls having coffee and a chat and as the gallery grew there, so did our little group with painting and I just started painting oh. more and more. I then got a social worker from Deneloquin and Wendy was just lovely. She asked me where I wanted to go and I started with wanting to help Aaliyah at school, which is my little girl, um, painting and doing projects at school to then Wendy suggested that it might be something I could develop. So now I'm actually teaching disabled people art and holding an exhibition later in the year. I only work with acrylic. I find that with my illness, I have CPOD, I can't use a lot of things with fumes. So using oils, I'm not allowed to use turpentine and things like that to wash it out with. So water is the key element of painting with acrylics. And it's easy clean up, it dries quick. You can do lots of different variants with it from using it really thick to almost watering it down and doing watercolors. I love the way it flows on the paintbrush and the canvas. That's why I've done my main features all in, in acrylic paint. It's, it can be as cheap or as inexpensive as you wish it to be, depending on what type of painting you're trying to achieve which makes it more accessible for myself now that I don't have an income like I used to because I can go to the art shop and buy just a few paints without it costing me lots and lots and lots of money and that's what I'm trying to develop with people with disabilities because most of the time they don't have that extra money to purchase all the things that come with painting as most artists know it can become quite expensive doing it with acrylic this way it brings art to people that might not necessarily have the financial chance to explore art. I can go from a very dark mood and have a very dark painting to being in an absolutely elated mood because someone's made my day or, or said something really inspiring and it will totally change the colours that I use, the flow of the paint, instead of having a very stark painting that probably brings a lot of sadness in one of my paintings. It will flow very easily and have more vibrant textures in it. Um, yeah, it's sort of like the colours of the rainbow really. It depends on your moods to what, what you're going to use. Disability is a word most people that have an illness hide behind. So what I'm trying to achieve is when I'm teaching art to someone with a disability. The disability is left at the door. They are learning to become an artist. They're emerging out of their shell to learn to create in a way that doesn't make them feel that they're bound by their disability because they're only bound by their own creativity. When I hold an art class, everyone knows the disability stays at the door and the artist walks through. It works really well to encourage people to look within themselves and find that little spark that makes them happy, which they can take home then and use when they're not feeling so well. Uh, it's how I use my art. I have good days, I have bad days. My art has good days and my art has bad days. It's all reflective on my personality and that's what I want to give to people with disabilities that, yeah, we're going to have bad days, but painting can bring about some really good days. Being an artist with a disability isn't how I would really describe myself. I'm a person with a disability who has learnt to move forward from the disability and achieve being an artist. The artist in me doesn't, doesn't get defined by being disabled. 
I can't breathe very well certain days, that's fine. But when I'm having a good day, my art is what I do. It's how I get through the times during the day where I want to be doing so many more things than just resting. Painting gives me the opportunity to increase my mind and challenge myself where I couldn't do that before as in a work capacity. I am someone who can't work, you know, eight hours a day, seven days a week, like a normal person would be able to. So I've learned to adapt my art to the time schedule of my disability. I've been in one exhibition in Mullerman Gallery last year, which was a still life class. It was absolutely fabulous. It was a group of girls all getting together and sharing all their inspiration and ideas and then holding an exhibition run by the gallery in Mullerman. But this year I'm actually taking on my own exhibition and bringing my own little flair to my own little creative world but also bringing it to my clients from Interreach so that they can participate in what it is to become an artist. The journey starts from first picking up a paintbrush right through to all the critiquing of what art is about through to learning how to approach people as an artist and then on to the final day where the exhibitions open and they will be able to talk to people who are interested in their artwork so that they get the same fulfillment as every other artist gets who decides to put on an exhibition. They will learn the financial side of things, they will learn how to express what their artwork means to other people who ask them. They're also realising that in their own capabilities there's a place for them to make birthday presents, make a little bit of money, because people will buy their art if they're in a gallery. It's all about networking and showing everyone else that we may have a disability but we're still human. At the moment, uh, I'm only on Facebook. I have just opened up a Facebook page called Less to More Creations, which is all about how I see my art. It's taking something that was less and creating it into something more. It has a two metaphor meaning. One is to take an object of less value, maybe from the op shop or something that you don't use anymore or something that has been given to you and changing the dimensions of it and turning it into a piece of creative art. The other part of less to more creations is taking my emotional status, which is making myself when I feel less and creating myself into something more. So it's a, it just has double meaning and that's meanings for me and hopefully if people get on Facebook and have a look at my web page they'll understand how reflective my meaning is. I've just learnt myself how to use the computer after many years of avoiding it and I'm learning that inspirational quotes are something that I love to do. So I put a lot of my inspiration when I'm feeling about a certain way onto my Facebook page as well as showing people how to take something from less to more.